Welcome back to Kabino Games and it's time for our weekly Guild Wars. Today we are battling Lazy Time, currently ranked number 13. We're going to hit some of their light and dark defenses. Now starting off with, we got here top. <laughs> oh man, so many light and dark monsters over here. We got a Nyx, we got that Gianna. And of course, we got the Dark Ninja, also known as Han. And then you got a Nana and a Molly. Let's see what we can bring here. For the first round, we're going to be bringing in our Douglas together with the Rakuni. And then the Halfas to tank all those Dark Monsters. And then for the second round, I'm thinking we'll leave the Nigong there to tank this Ziratu. And then I'm thinking we may need someone with destroy runes against that molly destroy runes and say some defense break skill that can help us yeah our Leica isn't on destroy though i mean we used to put her on, put him on destroy but then nowadays like especially against those bigger defenses right or even like say a mo long defense we would bring him with immunity nowadays. So, with the HP lead, I'm thinking Zingze. Zingze with a defense break and also a Valent destroy build. Every time they hit onto the Nigong, this Zingze should hit them back, right? Let's go try it out. Who's gonna move first? The Gianna? Oh, the Han moves first. Okay, um, that definitely popped the invincibility on our half us here. I'm thinking we should kill this Han first. Okay, nice damage. Alright. This Gian is gonna go. Ooh! <laughs> that was good damage from the Douglas though. Oh man. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we Gucci. Okay, here comes this Ziratu. They don't have a strip, right? Well, technically, the first skill of the Molly does strip, but we will work on this Ziratu first. That's gonna pop the first Harvest passive or the first Soul Stone of the Nana. All right, good damage from our pioneers. And without that Ziratu, we do have Destroy on our Jinze. We're pretty Gucci. Now, while we're working on this Molly over here, we got time for some shoutouts. Shout out to Alpur Ugur. Salute, brother. We got Kyle, D. Osborne, Aaron Ibanez, Wayu Aditya, Jake Jansen, GG, Adi Nugruho. Tian Yen, Min Yen Nut, and the real TZ. The real LTZ. Alright, now without that Nana, I mean without the Molly, we're pretty good. Because this Nana doesn't have any heals. Alright. Next up, we got here Katua with that Kinky. Every time I see a Riley, automatically I'm thinking, let's bring in a Bulwark and then let's go Zingze, Leo, and Riley the second round. Reckless Assault onto the Bulwark. Well, we do have our Mo Long here. Ooh. Okay. Forbidden Galder. Let's go, just hit that Mo Long and automatically that's 3 versus 2 now. It's very dangerous with this Kinky. Seems like he's on destroy too. Yeah, the thing with Lazy Time is they have a lot of destroy ruined defenses. That makes it very dangerous, especially if you know they like bringing in like healers, like tankers, and a lot of destroy runes. So the trick here is to kill this Kinky. Reckless Assault. 
done deal, and three versus one against the Riley. The Riley just has so many buffs. Look at all the knowledge. Every time, well, most of her skills, like what, two out of the three skills have emit what, like two buffs on them. So it's easy ball work. But then again, I guess it depends on the what do you call it, the team that's built around her. But in general, she's just really good. But look at that. More knowledge all over again. And one more turn, we do have our Reckless Assault coming up. And... Au revoir, Riley. Every time I see um, Beast Riders, automatically Leo it. Every time you see a Theomars, bring a Wind Damage Dealer. And this time we bring in our Zinze here. Who to kill first? Well, let's go for the Theomars. We do have Elemental Advantage over this Theo. Okay, we got Crazy Valorant procs coming up. Let's put in Grassland Trope Titan with the immunity and the attack power buff. Just in case they go crazy. Will this kill the Theo? Nice damage from the Leo. Okay, it's a 3 versus 2 now. Let's go heal up, stun. Start working on the Savannah. Alright, attack power buff with immunity. Who's on destroy though? You see, someone's on destroy again. Uh, I think this Savannah is on destroy. Nice stun. Is the Savannah or is the... Mo I don't think the Molly is on destroy. Man. I mean, nowadays, destroy runes with the mollies is just really good. Um, but we do have, again, our very own destroy on the Zingze. So, tip for the day. If you see a molly, just bring in some destroy runes and your pretty Gucci. Just try to avoid defense breakers like a Savannah. Bring in immunity like cleanse or attack buff. And, of course, a defense break so you can get through to her and at the same time do more damage because most of the mollies are built on what violent nemesis speed hp hp with 100% resistance all right onwards to the next defense we got here br win Wow, that's a Tian Lang with a Wu Sai and a Molly, and then you got there a Mo Long with a Lima and a Savannah. I want to play around with Dominic, so let's bring Dominic, Wu Sa, and Nigong against this Tian Lang, and then let's play around with uh, Odin against this Lima. First to kill would be, I'm thinking, of course, the Tian Lang. But the thing is, though, we didn't bring destroy against the Molly. Oh, man. <laughs> I just, I just said to bring destroy against the Molly. Well, this is a good example of what happens when you don't bring destroy. I mean, we don't have enough burst damage to actually kill the molly, unfortunately. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah. We're not going to be doing enough damage. They do have the Wusad with all those turns, though. Oh, no. Okay, we got Valent procs going on our side, but yeah, preferably we brought in Destroy. Who's on Destroy here? I think the Tian Lang is. See, everybody's got a, 
got destroyed runes. That's a really nice tactic. I like that. Yeah, especially for like tank teams like this one. Because you do know for a fact that you can't exactly cleave this defense, right? I mean, can you? I can be wrong, but please do leave a comment. And we want to know what you think if you believe you can cleave this team. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Man, look at the health on our Dominic here. Yeah, let's try to work on this Molly because the Molly just keeps healing the Tian Lang. And we don't have destroy runes. Our health is being destroyed. So that only means. Yeah. Our Dominic is becoming squishier and squishier by the moment. Come on. Oh, not enough damage though. We don't even have attack power buff. Not even a defense break. I mean, we do have branding. But a few violent procs on that molly. Ooh, come on. We need violent procs on the Dominic right now. Not you, Nigong. Dominic, come on. Still no pro. Not you. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, Tian Lang is on destroy. Violent destroy at that. Now they're working on the Nigong though. Ooh. So much pain though. Yeah, this was or this is our 99.9% .9 win team. But nowadays, especially <laughs> with the destroy runes, not doing so well. Let's see if we can revive our Dominic here. Okay. Sleep. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, our monsters are definitely, you know, getting squishier. Um, and we aren't able... Yeah, not enough damage to begin with. And these pioneers damage scale with the HP right so oh man Nigong going down yeah look at the mountains power it's doing less not enough to even do damage on the molly wow such a crazy defense oh man it's still full health. We got our HP destroyed. And there's no way Wusa is going to win through this. Okay. Well timed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, relax. <laughs> Goes crazy already. Uh, okay, that looks like a Despair Lima. Despair or Violet? Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna crouch. We do have a full stack of knowledge on our Odin here. Oh, should have put immunity. The Molong with the stun. Oh no. Yeah, but the defense break though. Ah, uh, I think we misplayed there. Oh no. Invincibility. Oh man. No. Okay, we got a full stack of knowledge. We're gonna snipe this Mo Long, but we do have a defense break, and our third skill is still on cooldown. I believe this Savannah can go here and she's gonna be able to snipe our Odin. Oh, but the stuns from this Lima. GG! <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we can't win them all. GG win. Well, let's go try our luck with some summons. Let's go.
All right, we are going to evolve our second Molly here. Yeah, she's just so good. Let's make two of them. Okay, evolving to six star. Um, what we're looking for is a Chongpong in the current, what do you call it? Rotation of the exclusive summoning stones. Hopefully we get a Chongpong. Yeah. The Wind Art Master. Let's go. I mean, we did time this with um, some NB5 rain that's going on in the channel. Um, it's normally part of our, whatchamacallit, summoning ritual to evolve a six a five star monster to a six star monster and then summon thereafter okay now we got lightning come on nuke and b5 chong pong all right lightning is good no Big NB5 Hua. Oh man. Could have been Chongpong. Let's go for the legendary all attribute scroll. Ooh. Ah. Uh, definitely a dupe. It was an all attribute scroll. That could have been Artamiel or Fermion. But I want Artamiel more so. Because he has heals and he is the poster monster of Summoner's War, by the way. Oh man. Yeah, more lightnings. Technically, we started with like what? 8,000 exclusive summoning stones, so that's more than 100 summons for sure. Why do we like Chongpong? Well, he's a very good monster, right? He strips, reduces attack bar, defense breaks, increases cooldowns. Oh man, so good. Let's go for these mystical scrolls first. Um, I don't know, what are the odds of us getting back-to-back MB5s? Although... Yeah, even if they say that every scroll is... Okay, lightning. Ugh. Yeah, as I was saying, even if they say, like, more lightning. Oh, Orion. Back in the meta, for sure. Yeah, even if they say that every scroll is, like, on its own, a chance to pull a new NB5. Oh, me ying. Good with the new speed lead. If you don't have a speed leader, you can definitely use her. Man. We just needed to clear all that. Okay, just like that. 20 plus mystical scrolls. Going back to exclusive summoning now. Still hoping for a Chongpong. I don't know what the all attributes crawl though. Yeah, you can feed your <laughs> iris if we have one with the lupus. Oh man. Yeah, we, we already do have the bulwark. We already have segment. We actually built two bulwarks for siege. Because bulwark is just really good. Um segment. Uh, we haven't used her in a while. But Chung Pong is a must have, in my opinion. I mean, we haven't been playing RTA, but Chung Pong on RTA is very good. Like, even more lightning. Yeah, we already got you a fake NB5, a fire Akasha that. Come on. More of the lupus. 
One hour later. All right, well, we did finish all the scrolls and we didn't get any more ND5s. Um, we have Hua and the uh, Fire Archangel. I think we got something like 23 NB4s. But still no Chongpong. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we already have him though. I don't think we're gonna build a second Villager well, but yeah, here's our Villager right now. Still improving on him though. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Have a great weekend ahead. May the force be with you. We'll see you on the next video.